That's a van just gone by. That makes more noise than these make. Very, very low whirling noise. At the moment, anyway. There's four in this field. One beyond there. One beyond there. And this one. Beautiful day. 16th of January 2012. Gorgeous rural area. We're doing a short survey uh, with this video to ascertain the views of people about our future energy source. We've seriously got to look at what we're going to do, either um, more power stations, bigger power stations, including nuclear and coal, or to go more for the renewable energy side, i.e. wind, wind turbines. So today we're going to be doing a short survey. If you would like more wind turbines in your area, vote thumbs up for more turbines. If you want more power stations, then vote thumbs down for power stations. And you'll be able to see uh, on a basis of how many thumbs up are the people that would rather add more turbines to the people who are voting thumbs down that would like more power stations. Thank you for your help. Not very really big like Drax Power Station. But what would you rather have on your doorstep? This or wind turbines? This is the future that we've got to think about for ourselves and for our children because this is the alternative. What are we going to have? So I'm just going to give you a zoom in. see the clouds coming down. The large clouds that are being given off out of the cooling towers contain large amounts of acid rain. You can actually see the clouds of steam coming down because the wind is blowing so hard. Uh, on a, a warm day you'll see them pluming right up but obviously today the wind's blowing down quite hard so the uh, clouds are being kept quite low but you can see just by panning around the smoke or not smoke the clouds of steam that are being produced from these towers contain large amounts of acid rain See the plumes of like clouds that have been passed out of these towers. But for me, I'd rather see loads of turbines. This site takes up a huge amount of area, and what else can you do with it? Only produce electricity. Here we can see the DS14 Uke scraping the coal for going into the furnaces. But look at the plume of acid rain being ejected from the towers. We've moved to a different location now, which you can see a lot better. How much? lorry going by. How much prunes of uh, acid rain are being given out. But at the end of the day 
we've got to have these power stations to give us the power for our homes to keep us warm uh, especially like on days like today and the few days we've had uh, to watch our TVs and everything else so we've got to weigh it up right we've moved to now East Middle Airport where they've installed two wind turbines and if you notice on this one the actual tips change to take it out of the wind but East Midlands Airport now have brought up land to turn into a solar farm which hopefully was going to be done this year but uh, I think there's been a setback on that but this will you know this is putting money back into East Midlands Airport to actually save them money cut down their CO2 which at the end of the day that's what we're all after cutting down the CO2 this is the power station and we're about five miles away but that shows you the blip on the landscape from about five miles away <laughs> 